Cameron here with the CButters channel. Recently we've been taking a look at Intel's Optane X-Point memory uh, at, in storage devices. We dropped an 800p in my ZFS file server and found that it was very effective at uh, speeding up uh, synchronized writes to the, to the server itself. Uh, but today we're taking a look at this guy. This is the Optane SSD9. This is the 905P version of the device with 960 gigabytes of storage. So this is the bad boy of storage devices. Um, and it's, I've, you know, I've seen lots of reviews on this device. Um, and I haven't felt like any of them really knew how to showcase the capabilities of of this device. A lot of them, you know, they ran, here's a game load test. Uh, it loaded half a second quicker. Here's a standard PC benchmark test. You know, it really was not doing too much to showcase its unique characteristics over something like this. The, uh, the 960 Pro from Samsung, great uh, NVMe device. Uh, this is the one terabyte version. We're actually going to pit the Optane against the SSD 9, 960 Pro in what I feel like might be a better set of benchmarks uh, to showcase the capabilities of Optane. I could be wrong. That's why we're going to run the test. But I have a feeling that, that the benchmarks I want to run uh, may showcase the capabilities. And what I want to do in these benchmarks is, is things that are not, they're not synthetic benchmarks. They're going to be uh, more workstation, power user, um, a few gaming related operations as well. Um, but let's go over to the computer and then I will kind of walk you through my benchmark suite and we'll compare both the 960 and the Optane and see how well they perform against each other. Okay, so here we are in my benchmark suite. Uh, first test is going to be um, compressing and then extracting an archive. And one of the things I'm going to do on this is I'm actually going to choose compression level fastest. That's the only change that I've made. And I'm only doing that because I don't want the CPU to become the bottleneck. I want the drive itself to be the bottleneck. Okay, so... Um, I'm not using completely random data here. I'm actually using block a blockchain backup file, a bootstrap.dat file for a cryptocurrency chain, which I figured would be a pretty good, you know, test of, of data. It might be something that someone might be actually uh, doing. Someone who would be interested in this drive would be messing around with blockchains and the ability to extract and compress these files would come in handy. So um, right off the bat, you can see they're, they're fairly equal. And I'm going to reset the timer and see how long it takes to extract. So in that last test, we saw that compressing the file, it was, uh, I mean, roughly the same, 47.2 versus 47.8. But uh, the 905P is rapidly uh, beating the 960 Pro in the extraction test. So that's a pretty substantial uh, increase in speed, 20 seconds versus 13.25 seconds, basically. So pretty good result there. Okay, in this test, we are looking at a copy between uh, two virtual hard disks that both reside on the uh, physical storage device. So you're, you're mounting two of them, and then you're passing data between them. And when you have a virtual hard drive mounted on a disk like that, you actually get a lot of I.O. because you have to write to the virtual hard disk, which is then writing in turn to... Uh, the physical disk and then you have a second one and so it's passing all this data around you can see that um, it, it's actually pretty pretty intensive um, so uh, the data set we're using here is is real data um, 
It's uh, app some application files, um, just random random files basically from my storage server. Uh, but there's lots of there's several large files. There's lots of small files. You know, there's kind of a mix of everything in there. But here's where we see um, a big difference with uh, the 905P. Those that last little bit where it's writing all kinds of uh, little files all over the place. The Samsung has slowed down and um, actually takes quite a while to finish this last little bit versus the 905P. So what that means is, you know, if you're using lots and lots of VMs, virtual machines, on a single system for testing or you're passing files around between uh, your virtual machines, uh, you know, getting some diagnostic, getting some logs, passing them back to the system. This is something that someone who would use a workstation would do a whole lot of. And uh, you can see there's substantial benefit here. The 905P doing uh, the job in a minute four, where the 960 Pro, a minute 22. So pretty good result. Okay, in this test, we are backing up a Steam game using the backup and restore functionality. Unfortunately, I don't feel like this test was super effective just because I, the backup and restore in steam is just so buggy i don't even know what it's doing frankly uh when it's running the backup it's not even it's literally not stressing anything it's not stressing this the uh hard drive it's not stressing the cpu if you're looking at it in the task manager i don't know why it takes so long to back up a, a game that's not not super big uh, but uh, either either way, the, the 905P did um, perform the task in 12 minutes and 50 seconds, where the 960 Pro did it in 1310. So uh, the backup portion goes to the 905P here. And then the restore procedure, uh, 905P, once again, beats out 960 just by a smidge. Uh, 1 minute 15 versus 119 on the 960 Pro. So in this test, we are taking a operating system image and mounting it with the DISM uh, tool. Then we're look looking at a Windows 7 install and we are mounting the WIM files and injecting drivers into uh, the WIM image and then writing it back out. And uh, this actually ends up with the 905P having a really great result at uh, taking 1 minute and 58 seconds, where the 960 Pro takes 2 minutes and 23 seconds. So where does that leave us when we're when we're looking at these two devices uh, there there's definitely a clear winner uh, when you are looking at workstation capability VMs OS mounting virtual hard drives things like that the 905p really excels and that's what it's meant to do it's a workstation device you're not going to load games any quicker your you know your applications are not going to load that much quicker, if at all. Uh, you know, very few applications in general performance can take advantage of uh, some of the unique characteristics of this 905P. But if you're doing lots of I/O intensive um, coding, manipulating data, you know, moving stuff around, it actually can be pretty beneficial. We saw on the virtual hard drive to virtual hard drive test. Uh, the 905P was 28% faster than the 960 Pro. The operating system uh, mountain inject driver test was 21% faster. And in general, uh, the 905P matched or beat the 960 Pro. So if you are just the casual gamer, the, the, you don't spend money on the 905P. But if you want the absolute best and you are a guy who or gal that uh, really can can manipulate some data, the 905P is worth looking at. And it definitely is the king of the hill when it comes to uh, storage and being lightning fast with its X-Point Optane memory. So thanks for watching this video. Hope it was useful to you. Be sure to subscribe to the Sea Butters channel and thanks for watching. 
So here's the fun part where we get to open this thing up. One thing I'm noticing, it smells like fresh new shoes. It literally smells like a sneaker in here. Anyways.